but actually I decided to, not to talk about my industry. <laughs> First change that I changed quite recently, I would like to talk about the content industry and in my impression the way that they failed to reinvent themselves. Actually, the content industry, we have seen it over the last few months, they really started a war. They started a war against piracy. They believe that the only way to fight piracy and to protect their future is to go through lobbying and imposing laws, like already mentioned today, SOPA, PIPA, ACTA, and who knows what the next names are going to be. I want to prove them wrong today by showing by taking an example of the software industry, how the software industry survived and how they managed to reinvent themselves. Software industry, 25 years fighting piracy, and I'm quite sure at the beginning of personal computer, all of you had somehow some floppy disk with some pirated software on it or copied from friends. We, we all went through that, and actually, I think the software industry did quite well. I am actually even a believer that the software industry became as big as they are today because of piracy. But I'm not here today to defend piracy. Absolutely not. I'm here today to take two examples of the software industry, how they managed to reinvent themselves. The first example is software moves from the licensing model going to a service model where hosted applications become a service as you go. Software industry managed to get two things done here. They get to increase earnings, to get recurrent revenues, coming monthly revenues, and they managed to get piracy down to how much percent? Well, hosted application goes down all the way to zero percent. Impossible to copy a hosted application. You can name it. It's Google Docs, Office 365, who is pushing out its market, going up all the way to your other applications, like Dropbox or Salesforce and so on, you name it, there are plenty of software and the software industry is shifting to this model and managed to reinvent itself. The next example I'd like to raise here is the industry of the apps. It's an amazing industry. It has grown over the last few years over 50% per year and estimations for 2012 show a 47 billion downloads with an availability in all the app stores for this year that will reach the one million app different applications. It's quite amazing. The success of this is really a reinvention and especially on the price level. Average app price is below $2. Actually, even 50% of them are free and 90% of the downloads are free. So how do they do money? Well, they invented something quite amazing. In-app purchase. Already 5% of all the apps have in-app purchase. You have an app, and somehow at some point it's limited. You have to upgrade, upsell, get, buy content, buy virtual goods and games, etc. So they really managed to reinvent on this. Look, let's have a look at the content industry, especially music and movies. They have definitely no excuses on the size of the market, especially now with smartphones, tablets, and so on, and how easy it is in one click to buy content. The music industry, well, first of all, it took them 10 years before I actually had anything in 97, my first MP3 player, it took them 10 years before an offer for the music industry was actually available online to be able to buy it. That's how long they fought back and didn't want to go. The business model they came up, well, download an album, 9.99, just as you bought a CD. Very innovative business model. The only thing that changed is the margin, how much money goes in the pocket of the labels. Movie industry, even worse. The movie industry today, the content is not even available. Less than 1% goes online and available for download, and actually it's quite recent moves. When all of a sudden you are happy and you are even ready to buy software online, you go somewhere on a website that offers movies to download, what happens, especially to us European ones, you click on it and say, oh, sorry, this license, copyright license, doesn't fit your country. Impossible to download. So, come on, really not even possible. If you even manage to have a fake IP address, to go through a proxy, to have a US credit card, <laughs> and you want to buy it, then you figure out, well, the movie that just got released, $14.99 to watch the movie, very nice, 
quite an interesting business model. They didn't understand, they don't understand the new demand. I don't ask to own the movie anymore. I don't need a DVD at home. I know that the movie is online, in the cloud somewhere. All I'm asking is to pay to watch and not $14.99. So they definitely need to come up with new business models. And we believe, I strongly believe that software industry shows the way to go. Thank you.